Hello guys, hello and welcome back to another FTB Infinity episode, yes, and today is the great day, yes, we moved all of our storage into our new base, so let's take a look, as you can see, I've removed all those deep storage units and all those um, ME drives from here and actually we can access everything from here so as you can see I've got the quantum ring right here and uh, yeah I've got everything hooked up into our system so yes uh, we even do not have power because everything is powered from our new base our new system so, yes, soon we will be completely wireless. And today, what we are going to do today, actually, we want to build the new room for auto crafting and for those uh, storages, crafting storages, storages and processors. So, yeah, um, let me just show you what I've done. Uh, I've done like auto processing or auto breaking ores uh, with the draconic draconic pickaxe uh, right here so we are processing the quartz because uh, fortuning it is pretty much the best way to do it and uh, right here I set up a lot of botania stuff because I'm messing around with botania um, eventually we will be doing some stuff from Martinia because I want some rings from there but yeah it, it's it's in the future uh, it's a future plan but anyway today we want to set up our new auto crafting room and let me just uh, quickly um, interface uh, let's make another 100 and uh, atomic to uh, assemb assemblers yes and we want like 500 maybe of those so yeah, let's start this and we will let this process, process uh, through our system and actually let's see in what crafting they are, they are in those. So we can take off this crafting unit and take it with us and uh, we want to go to our new base. So yeah. And by the way, remember last time when we built this huge storage system? Yeah, I had to tear it down a little bit because it cost, it doesn't cost so much lag, but the processor on the server went up like crazy, over 100% of usage. So, yeah, I had to tear it down because so many drives it was 720 drives actually so yeah uh, it was too much it was just too much and i end up uh, reducing all of those drives but still we've got uh, 280 drives in the system it means uh, 2800 storage cells so yeah we are pretty much good and actually I crafted uh, some more of those uh, let me just quickly show you I've got here the storage cells I've got another 500 of them so we can just easily put those in and yeah you can see we are filling up our storage system uh, pretty quickly uh, I've moved everything from the deep storage units to 
are drives uh, except the stone, the netherrack and the cobblestone because we've got over uh, I guess like one we've got over one a hundred millions on the cobblestone and around five five, five millions fifty millions of stone and the same is netherrack so if we take a look yeah you can see it's filling up our storage so let's grab actually a few more of them and see if we can fill completely one side um, like that and oh I didn't mean to throw up this thing off so let's see can we did we fill up the one side almost almost we are almost there so let's grab a few more because I would like to see the one side completely filled up okay not like that and yes I need to actually make this room smaller and I want to sort by number of items so as you can see we've actually got like over 500 free drives where it's nothing yes and a few more so let's grab last ones and we okay didn't fill up this side oh it's filling up this side too so yeah we've got quite a lot of drives and i will put them there off camera the rest of it but today we want to actually make uh, the uh, auto processing unit and right here i actually started a room so this is how the room will eventually look like so all those stone bricks are representing the um the crafting units uh, like those and uh, each of them are uh, 15 15 blocks and uh, yes so they will be like that so eight one two three four five six seven eight on the floor and eight of them like in those spaces will be eventually on the on the ceiling and uh, one thing that I want to try is that if I can I make a quantum ring uh, let's see we need eight of them and one can I make actually a quantum ring like that oh yes I can so perfect perfect that's what I need so let's actually grab one two three four five six seven eight okay nine new no. and one more so one more so like that and yes uh, you can see I actually hooked the wireless uh, wireless transmitter uh, right here the security terminal and wireless transmitter so I can actually access all my stuff from everywhere in the base so uh, right now what we want to do and do I have more of this thing yes I do so what we want to do right now is that we want to take off this stuff okay it was too much and we want to place something like this so we don't want to have a hole uh, in the floor and let's take the crafting units and uh, 
brass sync units and monitors oh we've got only five monitors okay uh it doesn't matter right now what we are actually crafting uh this will be done in a minute and this thing will take a while so after we actually do this we can make it another monitor but the way i set up this is that i've got one two three four five uh crafting storages uh right uh, here and then i've got one two three four like that and four copper processing units and then uh i actually like to switch it between so i've got one two three four and you can see that i actually have like a five of those uh, uh of those units in each layer so it means uh, one two three oh it's nine by five oh sorry it's 45 blocks actually so it means that i have 20 uh crafting storages in each and uh, 25 if i'm right five by five it's yeah it's 25 and 24 uh sorry 19 uh pro car processing units and one monitor because i think it actually looks cool when it's showing those items in so like that and again uh these like that and like that so now we can fill this in and one monitor like that that and the last uh i need to turn on my magnet and the last layer like that so those will eventually be the crafting uh, units and we've got uh 30 24 it's eight 16 24 32 uh we actually have like 32 we will end up having 32 um those crafting units and in the middle uh like on this level and do i have any block that i can one two three four five yes and on this level we will end up having the quantum ring like that that's why i was wondering if i can actually place it like lying on the floor so we will eventually have the quantum ring like that and from the quantum ring we will have um the cable let's see we are using the uh, yellow if i'm right yes we are using the yellow okay and by the way i uh, added those deep storage units right here so it's actually up in so we want to grab a yellow wire um where's that the yellow wire like that and uh, we want to run this wire all around like so so it will connect all on all the sides and from the yellow wire uh, maybe i will eventually build like some suspension right here but i'm not sure and uh, from the quantum rings we will eventually run like a cable from 
this side and this side that's why those all have like three space and because we are here we are using the the orange cable so what if we would use uh, there's a lot of blue and uh, the sand cable and we need a PDP tunnels and we need actually a smart cable do I have any smart cables on me? Uh, no I do not have let me just check if I have some no okay so do we have any in our system smart yes we've got plenty and we want a cyan color uh, like that and I'm actually using smart cables because you can see you can actually see those channels on them and uh, we we will end up having like one two three four maybe less and uh, one two three four and the smart cables will go like this like this um not like that like this into the into the quantum ring and this guy well go like that or maybe maybe I can do it the other way I can actually have the yellow cable wrap around like this one two three one two three and I can use one PDP tunnel uh, I was using I was going for that just for the looks so one PDP tunnel and uh, because we will have eight drives uh, we can actually make it make it from one cable so like that like that like that like that and like that and into our ten cable so we can actually make it to one cable and the top side will have a similar appearance and I don't know if I wanted to have it on floor or if I want to go directly like that I'm not sure I need to think about it what it looks like yeah I think having it in the air is much better let me just no I didn't mean to break that one yeah I think having it in the air is much better than having it on the floor like so yeah I think this looks better so we won't have the cable on the floor but we will have the cable on the in the air and I will show you so when I 
when I actually will have um here uh, we will have this guy uh here we will have this guy this guy this guy so when we eventually connect those in like that uh, we will take eight chains so like that like that so let's connect those up and uh, I actually updated the server so now we have the uh, Vila, Valva, uh, the mod that it's what I'm looking at. So we can actually see how many channels we are using. And then, so if I actually put a dense cell right here, you can see we are using eight channels. Here we are using eight channels and here we are using some power so eventually uh, we will be using only eight channels uh, on the lower part of this and eight channels on the other part of this so it's uh, 24 channels in total so on this dance cable because we are we will end up having like uh, the same um let let me just show you uh, we will be using the yellow one so if i grab singularity yellow so now we need the uh the memory card and we are using the yellow where's the yellow where's the yellow down here and we are using the sign yes so loaded settings and oh now it says loaded so if i would put a yellow thing in the quantum ring and I power the quantum ring. Do I'm passing the power or not? Did I name it wrong or I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Did I miss misspelled something? Yellow. Yellow. So, what did I done wrong? This is actually using power. It should not use power why is that can I actually have like more quantum rings 48 48 If I throw the dense, then cell right here. Oh, no, 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 no. Why 
why not why you are not connecting why you are not connecting we do not see any channels here we see channels here on the yellow oh my god why 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 would you do that that's not good that's not good that's not what i wanted to have oh that's not good okay so let me just search for it on the internet and i will be back soon all right guys so yes we can only link two quantum rings to Together. Would you believe that? I thought that you can link how many you want. So, uh, what I've done, I still got the yellow quantum ring uh, right here, but I made two of those and I even may end up splitting all of those quantum rings, maybe only the bottom ones uh, we will eventually see how many we need to use maybe I will split all of them in two pair like this but yes uh, that's unfortunate that's very unfortunate oh anyway uh, now we should be able to we should be able to actually craft from those craft from those units so let's actually uh monitor craft 100 or not like 50 we need uh we actually want to disable Disconnection, 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 and disconnection. Uh, we are using three, one, two, one, two. Okay, now we are using two. Uh, so we actually. Okay, so I need to go to our old base. Oh, yes, 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 that's right, that's right. Uh, yes, because I split those rings. Or not, this should be working fine. Why is it not working? Uh, do you actually know what I was crafting? <laughs> um, I was crafting the interfaces inter pieces that's right okay so you got 500 interfaces right here and we want to turn off our magnet so we've got 500 interfaces right here and uh, if we go to our new base and we we would order uh assemblers oh we actually got 500 of them already so if you actually order another 500 yes you can see we are now connected and they are crafting 500 of those great so um yeah that that's very unfortunate that you can only link two chambers together because we will end up like with this setup we will end up wasting a lot a lot of those channels so I may even reconsider doing the assemblers in another room and I will end up doing them in this room 
maybe so yes because it would seem like a good idea to kind of extend this room and because we've got plenty of space right here so we might we may oh i need to think about it i need to think about it um this actually kind of cancels my plans oh so this is surprise the I, I don't like surprises i don't like surprises so uh i will eventually wait for those to be crafted up and yeah i will replace all those blocks with the with those crafting units and uh yeah but actually we can see if this crafting unit is solar panel like if we would no crafting CPUs available. Okay, 10 is too much, I know. Oh. Oh, wait, no crafting CPUs available. So it means that this is not enough solar for crafting one. Yeah, uh, it actually uses like two. Two million bytes. So, um, I I could like build two giant CPUs for like crafting huge things. Yeah, it might be even good because I can fit them like right to here. Yes. Um. I will end up doing some wiring and I will actually fit like two huge, uh, let me just grab a stone, like that, like that, so it's one, two, three, four, five one two three four five and they will go all the way up to the ceiling so yes uh 24 small cpus and two huge cpus so yeah that's the plan and we will then split up this room into like half on maybe on the ceiling i will have the quantum ring with all the cables and then we are going to have all those assemblers so we can fit 32 channels on this so one thing that i want to test is assembler so we want to grab four actually and we want interface so like that and when we uh i need to disconnect this cable so eventually okay a lot of lagging eventually when we put the interface like here and do Okay, that's not good. That's not not good. Uh, okay, so when we put the assemblers like that, because we want to end up having them like that, uh, how many channels this will actually take? Oh, it only takes one channel. Great. So we can end up having like 32 32 assemblers like that and if i 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 it's to the floor or to the 
Okay, so... 11, 11, 11. Um, uh, we can't fit three of those into one dense cable. Uh, so, yeah, I need to think about this. Uh, first of all, I will do all those all those crafting CPUs and then I will come back and we will see what we are going to do but if it only if this setup like that only take one channel it's great it's very great so yeah uh, I will do uh, those crafting CPUs and I will be right back all right guys so I finished and all those crafting CPUs and I decided not to go crazy in number of those but actually extend the ones that we already have because we still got eight on the side and on eight on the side so it means we got uh, 16 of those smaller and we've got two huge crafting CPUs so yeah I think this will be enough and uh, our for unfortunately uh, we run out of time so yeah I need to actually end this episode right here and uh, yeah I know I didn't done uh, so many things in this episode I promise that we will actually build uh, the um, energy storage uh, cell or system or the huge ball from draconic evolution and um yeah at least we figured out that we can't <laughs> have uh, multiple quantum rings so yeah uh, maybe i will decide to uh, split those up or even add some of them in here i'm not sure yet I'm not sure, I will need to think about that, but uh, yeah, um, in the next episode, first thing that we will actually do, we will build uh, this draconic uh, storage, energy storage uh, core, and uh, in, in between episodes I will kind of decor this room, and I will try to wire it somehow and uh, I will extend this hopefully we've got uh, enough room and uh, in, uh, yeah we will build the draconic evolution core and we will build the auto crafters so yeah so guys thanks for watching uh hope you enjoyed this video hope you learned something i'm doing this for you to learn something you know and uh if you like the video please leave a like and consider subscribing because it's always appreciated uh, so thank you guys for watching and see you next time